Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. My name is Liz Gardner, and I'm the Director of Interpretation at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. I had the uh, sorry, privilege and pleasure of working on the Shenwei Painting in Motion exhibition at the Gardner Museum, and I am thrilled to be with you tonight for this program. I want to welcome you to the first in a series of three guided art meditations related to the Shenwei exhibition, which is currently on view through June 20th, 2021. Before we begin, I would like to mention some ground rules and helpful tips for having the best experience today. For this guided meditation, we have kept your video active to help facilitate a virtual community experience, but we have turned off your audio. If you have any questions or technical difficulties, please use the chat feature at the bottom of your screen. We have support staff monitoring the chat and they will be able to assist you. At the end of the meditation, there will be an opportunity to ask India any questions or to share any comments. We recommend that you change your settings to speaker view in the top right of your screen so that you have more control to see the artwork that we will be focusing on for this guided meditation session. Once you select speaker view, you should then see a series of boxes pop up with different videos, including mine. At the top of these boxes are a row of rectangles. We recommend selecting the middle rectangle to show active speaker video. In the bottom left corner of the speaker's video, there are three white diagonal lines. You can adjust the size of the video by clicking and dragging those lines. And now that we have our housekeeping out of the way for the evening, I would like to introduce our meditation teacher for this session, India Clark. India is a life path mentor for creatives and the founder of the Wayfinder Institute, created to unlock the power of art observation and mindfulness to spark personal growth and well being. India works with individuals and groups to help creative souls find and follow their true path in life and work. She combines a background in mindfulness, yoga, and art museum education. India received a 200-hour yoga certification from Kripalu Center for Yoga and Health, a 500-hour certification from Shakti Initiation Women's Leadership Training, and is currently training with Tara Brock and Jack Cornfield in a two-year mindfulness meditation teacher training program. She has a master's degree in museum education and has worked with many museums, including the Museum of Fine Arts, the Institute of Contemporary Art, the Mass Art Art Museum, the Tang Teaching Museum at Skidmore College, the Smith College Museum of Art, the Davis Museum at Wellesley College, and of course, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. I'm so grateful to have been working with India over the last year on several meditation projects for the Gardner Museum. And I know you were all in for a very special experience tonight with her guidance. And with that, I will turn it over to India. Thank you so much, Liz. It's an honor for me to be here. My name is India Clark. And to begin, I'd just like to invite you all to close your eyes if that's relaxing for you or just gaze softly downwards and to pause for three conscious breaths. And just taking a moment to connect with what brought you here this evening. What was your intention in coming here? So knowing that just being aware of our intentions is powerful and has a real impact. My hope is that we will all feel protected and nourished together within the space that we're creating this evening. And in light of the recent surge of anti-Asian hate crimes here in the US, especially the recent mass murder of eight innocent people, including six Asian women in Atlanta, Georgia, I wanted to personally express my deep sadness and empathy. And I wanted to take this opportunity to honor the Asian origins of both the profound artistic lineage that's evident in the artwork we'll look at tonight, and also in the Buddhism and yoga philosophies that our mindfulness meditation practices are derived from. Over the past 2,500 years, countless Buddhists and yogis across 
Asia have contributed their intellect and hard work to develop nourish and teach these practices that we can still turn to for wisdom and healing in modern times. So let's pause again for a moment of acknowledgement and gratitude. And we're also adding the Gardner Museum's recent Solidarity for Asian American Community Statement to the chat. So you can take a look at that if you'd like to. To outline what you can expect from this experience this evening, we'll be focusing on three images tonight as the object of our mindfulness and relaxation practice. And I'll be guiding you the whole way. So whether you have lots of experience with meditation and art observation, or you're a complete beginner, you are in the right place. We'll be looking at images from Shen Wei's Reflecting Elements series, which is the most recent of Shen Wei's work in the Gardner's exhibition. And for those who don't already know, Shen Wei is a Chinese artist, dancer, choreographer, and painter who, in his approach to making work, seeks to align the energies inside and outside the body, approaching the body and its environment as fundamentally interconnected. So this is something that we can also do as mindful viewers. We can align the energies inside and outside the body, not only observing the body and its environment as interconnected, but also the body and the artwork that that body observes as interconnected. So let's begin. So just taking a moment to look, to take in this image fully, just being with it, your presence and its presence together, letting your eyes move all around what you see and taking in the light and the dark. Noticing how your eye moves, if there are areas that it wants to move towards more than others. how you flow from detail to the complete picture. Maybe you lean in. Just getting to know it and really trusting yourself as a viewer, really trusting your curiosity Slow looking. And then you can close your eyes once again, or you can just gaze softly downwards if it's not relaxing to close your eyes, but go inwards a bit. and beginning to scan through your inner experience with the attempt to have an attitude of friendliness and non-judgment towards whatever you find, whatever is your experience. Beginning with noticing your body's connection to the ground through whatever it is that you are touching, sitting on, standing on. 
Just bringing your focused attention to those points of contact and noticing what it feels like. Maybe that sensation is continually shifting. Just watching it inside. Contacting the ground through gravity, through the weight of your body. And then notice also how your body rises up through the space that you're in. Let's sit up in a relaxed but upright posture. Balancing alertness with relaxation. And notice what your body feels. What is speaking to you through the language of sensation? To the best of your ability, including everything that comes across your attention, whether it be uncomfortable or pleasant, neutral, numb, Letting it all be as it is. And even if you find it difficult to be with what you're experiencing, allow that to be as it is. If you find yourself judging what you're experiencing, then the attempt is to not judge the judgment. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes again and come back to looking at our image. And just notice what's here. And stay connected with your body as you look. So now looking out from within a body that's grounded, that's touching the earth. Through your eyes, perceiving from inside to outside and back. Scanning through the image as you scanned through your body. Welcoming everything. If it's possible to feel warmth towards your experience and towards what you notice. And just see if anything is shifting in what you see or in what you feel. We'll close the eyes again, bringing the image inside you into your mind's eye. Focusing on the painting that you see with your eyes closed or gazing downwards, looking away from it and staying connected. And notice what resonates in the body.
the intelligence of this body, perhaps speaking with what it's seeing, taking it in and bring your awareness now to the breath. So just the natural breath as it flows in and out. Observing, allowing. You might notice the breath in your belly and chest, how it moves the body. It's okay to have your eyes open if it's uncomfortable. If it's hard to notice the breath, you can place a hand on your belly or on your chest and cradle your own body in your hand as you feel the in and out, the tides of breath. Softening as much as you can. You might notice the breath around the nostrils or the lips, depending on whether you're breathing through your nose or mouth. You might notice coolness, temperature change as you breathe in and out. You might notice change in tempo, the breath speeds up deepens, slows down. You might notice the moment the in-breath turns into the out-breath. The moment the out-breath turns into the in-breath. Staying connected to the ground as your body breathes all on its own. And bring that image one more time, the painting into your mind's eye. And then open your eyes and notice what's there. And we'll move on to our second image.
deepening into looking. Notice the energy of curiosity. If it's here, notice attraction and aversion. Just observing what it feels like inside you as you look. And just getting to know it. Staying with the breath as you look and the body. And being really gentle with yourself. Just allowing yourself to experience this however you do. Minimal effort. Just letting it come to you. And when you feel ready, you can close your eyes or look downwards, go inside again. And begin to get curious about what is happening inside you in terms of emotion and energy? You may notice tiredness or anxious energy. You may notice sadness. What does that feel like? Just attempting to relax and be with whatever is here. It's always okay to open your eyes and look again. It's always okay to come back to feeling the ground if anything is too much, not relaxing. There are many, many ways to meditate. As you're scanning through emotional body, you may find that you don't feel much or that you feel a lot. So seeing if you can widen yourself to be able to hold whatever's here. And as you feel the sensation or the experience of emotional energy or lack of energy, different things moving, just noticing also where, where you feel it and how. You don't need to have words for it. There's no particular right or wrong, just opening yourself to be in touch with whatever is willing to be felt.
whatever feels safe and available to you to feel. And when you feel ready to opening the eyes to look again, coming back to the artwork. And just see what's here for you now. Maybe there's more to see. Looking at all four corners. The middle. The sides. Noticing what you really feel drawn to or averse to. And noticing what's happening also in your mind and in your thoughts. And it may support you to close your eyes again, to come back inwards, to be with your thoughts in the mind. So thoughts are welcome and the object of mindfulness is not to remove thoughts, but to be aware of them. The nature of mind is to think, so thoughts will drift through like clouds in the sky, and we can observe them like we observe the breath, like we observe the image, almost like objects. And the attempt is to not identify with the thoughts. being sort of bigger and wider than the thoughts. So maybe you notice some of the ideas that you've had during this experience so far, thoughts may have been about what you were seeing or feeling. And maybe you drift away with your thoughts, your mind wanders. And of course, that's also included. That's a part of the experience. And when you notice it, that's something to celebrate and bring your attention back again, back again to the breath. And body. The experience of being here and now.
See if you can bring the image into your mind's eye again with eyes closed or gazing downwards and just remembering it. And noticing what your mind does or doesn't do. And then you can open the eyes again and come back to looking, meeting the image. And then we'll move to the third image. Just taking your time to get to know this one. Very much in the same way, the quality of friendliness and thoroughness with light effort. Letting it come to you rather than striving to figure it all out. Maybe you notice how your heart feels as you look. Breathe, relax, feel, watch, and allow. And we'll bring our attention to the witness consciousness. So noticing if you can imagine yourself here looking. It may help to close the eyes. Picturing yourself sitting or standing as you are. Picturing the shape of you, the outline of you. Picturing yourself breathing and feeling and rising and falling. As if you could see yourself from the outside. a shape in a room. So imagining the shape of that room, the lines and corners and surfaces of the space that contains you and let yourself zoom out so your awareness is wide. The shape of the room, the shape of your body. And inside, is there a sense of the shape of what's within? Maybe yes, maybe no.
witnessing the breath and the body and the mind. The energy that is moving through you, the aliveness. Witnessing yourself as you love what you love. Avoid what you avoid. Witnessing yourself as you change continuously. Every single moment. No two breaths alike. And come back to looking, open the eyes if you haven't already. Witnessing how you see this. Almost like concentric circles, the you that sees and the you that sees the you that sees. Can you focus even more? Zero in. Find a place within the image. place you'd like to stay for a moment and just go go there with your attention and notice what it's like to stay really focused in and then let your eyes move again maybe you find another spot to land, or maybe you zoom out a bit to take it in as a whole. Just sensing it. And thinking about that quality of the body and its environment being interconnected. The body and the artwork as interconnected through the eyes, through the energy of witnessing what was created by another body. And closing the eyes again to bring it inside you. Noticing how you can hold it inside. Feel that interconnectedness. 
from you with this breath, this life, this body, taking in what was created by another body and looking with community. To knowing that as you look and you feel this image inside your mind's eye, you are one of many people right now looking together, feeling together. Separate bodies, separate lives, deeply, deeply interconnected. Through the air we breathe. Through the way that our moods are contagious. A smile. And that we're interconnected, not just with one another in this moment, in this time, but also that we are the product of time that came before. And we are seeds of what's to come. So feeling maybe the power of your connection to yourself and your willingness to observe. The power. Notice what the breath is doing. Notice what the heart is doing. The mind and the body and the energy and emotions. Opening the eyes when you're ready to look again. One last time. Notice what's shifting. And then we'll just pause and rest in awareness, either with your eyes open or your eyes closed, whatever feels right for you. Just letting the training of your attention go and just be here.
Just notice how you feel. So relaxing, releasing that, and just taking a moment to reflect on the experience of the meditation. What did you notice about the images and what did you notice in yourself? You can feel free to reflect on this internally, or if you'd like to, you can share any reflections in the chat. You can drop in. What did you notice about the images? What did you notice in yourself? Of course, there's no obligation to comment. So a comment from Kate M. I felt connected very much to nature in each scene and my mind drifted to curiosity about the artist and his intentions. Thank you. Yes, lovely. The curiosity for more is a very good sign, I think. And um, we won't be really speaking too much about um, the background of these artworks, but there is more information available through the Gardner Museum website. And we'll share that at the end as well. So to end our meditation, if there are no other comments, which is just fine, I'd like to thank my teachers in the ancient lineages of mindfulness and yoga, which came to the West from all across the Asian continent. And I'd like to thank our artist Shen Wei for his embodied creativity, which became a platform for our reflection and relaxation tonight. Um, I'd also like to thank the Gardner Museum and all the wonderful, lovely staff of the Gardner for their commitment to sanctuary, which is what brought us all together tonight and for all their hard work. And most of all, I really love to thank each and every one of you for showing up for yourselves, for being here tonight, carving out time and space to connect with, with one another and with art and, and most especially with yourself. Um, it can be so rare that we do that, that we allow ourselves that time. And it's it's truly a gift, I believe, to, to ourselves and our families and our communities and our planet whenever we do pause and connect. So thank you for being here. I invite you to, to end with a physical gesture um, of closure of whatever type that feels authentic to you. It might be something like this, something like this, something completely different, whatever feels true to you.
Thank you. Thank you so much, India. Um, I want to thank India, who is our meditation teacher tonight, and for all of you for participating in this meditation session. We are adding some links to the chat for more information about the Gardner Museum's Shenwei Painting in Motion exhibition, um, about the virtual programs, and all of the other recorded and upcoming live guided meditation sessions. So um, as a reminder, we have two more coming up, one more in April and one in May. Um, so you'll find the links there in the chat. Um, and again, as a reminder, Shen Wei Painting in Motion will be open through June 20th, 2021. You can purchase the time ticket on our website at gardnermuseum.org, or you can use the link in the chat. Um, and if you are local and you feel comfortable coming to the museum, I really hope that you'll make a visit to this exhibition. Um, it's really just a beautiful space to be in um, and um, a wonderful opportunity to experience Shen Wei's art all across the Gardner Museum. Um, so I hope that you all have a great evening. It was wonderful to be in community with you tonight. Um, and if you do have any questions or comments or would like to speak with India, she's going to stick around for a few minutes. Um, so thank you again.